All right, so look where I am. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I don't know. You know, it's probably because I'm such a small fish and uh, everybody else that's coming to this training camp is probably like, they've been to animation school and stuff, but uh, I haven't. I didn't even know how to draw four years ago, so oh, that angle. So this is, um, this is gonna be, I don't know, I kind of feel intimidated just all of a sudden. Anywho, I'm gonna go in and uh, get registered and all that and see if I can vlog. And I'll let you guys know how my day goes there. I'll be there. It's like uh, 7, 12 in the morning. And I'll be here until, um, yeah, 6 o'clock at night. So I can't wait. And I'm gonna straight up, I'm about to like walk in freaking Nickelodeon Studios, yo. This is just crazy. Like this is the building where SpongeBob is made. Right. Ah. Okay, well anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, I'm a few. Just waiting for the signal. Hey guys, if you'd like to help yourself to food, it's all it's good to go. They don't have to me twice. It's just a spread. Okay, so we are in we are in the auditorium where we're gonna begin learning and turn the news camp. I'll turn this camera around so we all can see behind me. And that is the screen. And look at the ceiling, it's super dark. And I believe it said it was about a hundred people attending this camp. Thank you for that. Uh, you're going to be spending Saturday and Sunday with us. Uh, you've watched the video. Um, some of you uh, I've already met. My name is Desi. I'm the Marketing Communications Manager here at Toomboom. The goal of this weekend is to specialize yourself, um, to really find your niche within the industry. If you haven't already, and you know, really go to that next level, whether it's in rigging, compositing, cutout animation, or another aspect of animation that you know, you'd like to talk about as well, we're here to help you. We're here to reinforce your skills. We're here to help you be able to get a job at Bento or, or to get a job at Nickelodeon or Disney um, and really take you to, to, to that next level where you'll be working on shows like The Lion Guard um, or, or, or other shows that you'll see here today that we'll talk about as well. So really that's the goal of this. This whole camp idea started um, about a year and a half ago and Bradley is actually the one who brought it to the table. 
Um, a lot of the feedback that we're getting from the major studios um, is that, you know, kids are coming out of school and, you know, they're generalists. Uh, they've learned how to animate, but they don't have the skills to really go to the next level because, unfortunately, you know, they're either rushed through the program or, or, or the teachers just don't have the time to, to take you to that next level. So we took it upon ourselves and we decided to go to that next level. So. We surveyed our, our database and we're like, what do you guys want to learn more about? And the results for North America were quite clear. Everybody wanted to learn more about rigging, compositing, and cutout animation. Um, the artists are extremely important to us, are just as important uh, as to the studios that we work with. So during the day or during the weekend, uh, any questions you have about software, uh, around anything, come get my card, hook up with me on LinkedIn. Uh, if you're ever looking for work, always let me know. Uh, that you're looking for work, send me your profile, your resume, uh, whether it's freelance work or you're looking to work at a specific studio, let me know. I can always put you in contact with the right people. Uh, more than happy to do that by following me on LinkedIn because I post continuously about the industry, including job postings from all of our studios. Always more than happy to make any connections I can make for you. It benefits us just as much as it benefits you. Um, and even more importantly, when it comes to questions around the software, for me, one of the most important things for artists working in the software is that you never struggle inside of the software. So using things like the learning portal, or if you have a question and you're struggling with something inside of the software, shoot me an email. Chances are I can find you an answer to that question or put you in contact with the person that will be able to answer that question. And I think that will get you much further ahead as far as working within the software and make it a more pleasant experience. So please stop by, ask me any questions use and abuse, as I like to say, mm -hmm. and um, enjoy the weekend. Thank you very much for attending. We really appreciate it. Peace. This is Queen Nyoka, and I'm going to talk about my experiences at the Toon Boom Career Training Camp. So this part was one of my favorites, where Joe Kuwahara is just talking about how um, in Korea they're still using paper to animate. Uh, and then this part of the program was Ben Halstead, he was discussing uh, rigging, which is sort of like animating with the puppet, so to speak. So I just have to say how I just had a great time and these people at Toon Boom have great hospitality. I was so shocked at how much I learned and I wish that it was longer <laughs> and I hope to attend another one. I definitely um, learned a lot and look forward to going back to another one for sure. So this is the second day and the second day we broke up into the groups of whoever wanted to do compositing, rigging or um, cut, cut out. And that was the one I went to. I went to the cutout class. But this right here is lox. We had breakfast. This is the breakfast. We had bagels and fruit. And the food was amazing. Can I just say that? The food was absolutely amazing. And again, I can't say how much I enjoyed myself at this camp. And I can only hope to go back. Now, this is the class. Um, like I said, I went to the cutout um animation uh course and this this is like the view from outside of the class that i took and the instructor that i had um there she is right there in the right corner um her name is melanie melanie daigle and she was amazing this is her drawings right here and she as you can see she draws she drew for the um, my little pony movie and uh yeah we just had a really fun time in our class and like i said i learned so much and i only hope to learn more i'm gonna get on the learning portal that toon boom offers for free i've been uh sampling some of that already but i'm gonna do more because I want to go through with their um, program so that I can get certified, which is the whole point of this camp. So, um, yeah, I look forward to doing that. And I must say, something happened that was really, like, really caught me off guard. Because um, 
I mean, in a good way. I was talking to uh, one of the staff members, and I have to say shout out to, um, I believe his name was George. Um, don't kill me if I'm wrong, because I didn't get his card. But I was showing him a art, some artwork that I did for a contest Toon Boom had, where you had to do a greeting card for, this is it, for the holidays. And he said he liked it better than their... Uh, better than their um, lumberjack. So that really like threw me off and I was just so excited for him to say that. So I was gonna end the video right there, but then I thought Desi, Miss Desi came into our classroom towards the end of camp and she asked us to do a sketch, like it would be a competition if you did a sketch of um, something that happened in camp and in Toon Boom's camp so I chose to do uh, the story that I just explained and the little encounter I had with um, the two employees from uh, or the two staff members from Toon Boom uh, one being I believe his name is George and Miss Desi uh, so yeah this is going to be a drawing that I did of us standing in the exact place where it happened in uh, Nickelodeon Studios. And so, yeah, I just thought I would make all of us cartoons. Thought it would be pretty cool because I was so humbled by um, George's comment that he felt like my drawing was better. Because, I mean, every, you know, every, most artists are not happy with their work. And I'm definitely one of those type of artists. Like, yeah. So, anyway, this will conclude this video. Well, at least me doing a voiceover. Um, please like and subscribe. And hit the bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again to Toon Boom for having this wonderful event. Uh, again, I hope to come to another one. This was just the dopest thing ever. Anyway, I'm Queen Nyoka. I'll see you guys later. Peace.